Hi friends, my name is Aditya Allah, you are watching Webocoda. So today is Diwali to, so happy Diwali to you all. And in this video, I am going to talk about how you can develop your logic so you can write program in any language. So let's get started. The reason behind the posting this video is uh, some of my friends tell me to post a video on C or any other language. So I thought that before posting any video on C or any other thing, let me first tell you how you can develop your logic to write program in any language. So it might be C, Python or anything else. Everything uses a common logic. If you have the logic, then you can write program in any language. So to develop your logic, the first thing you need to do is you need to be aware of the syntaxes of the programming language in which you are going to write code. Suppose you are writing code in C, then you know, should know how you can write printf, scanf, for loop, while loop, etc. If you don't know the syntaxes, then it is hard for you to write at least a code. The logic is the next thing, but to write a code, you need to understand what the syntax is and how you can use them. The second thing is, once you are familiar with the syntaxes of any language, you must know their meaning. For example, if I write a scanf in C, then what it will do? Suppose the win, uh, in scanf, we use the ampersand sign. So what is the meaning of ampersand sign? You should know that. These small, small things will help you to increase your logic while programming. Also, you should know why you are writing a particular line of code in your program. So, I suggest you, you should think like a computer because uh, you are writing code on a computer. What happens is, uh, you should know meanings like uh, why you are including a library file like stdio in your program. What will happen if you will, if you not include that file into your program? So, once you get uh, familiar with such things like why I am doing this to run my program, you will have a higher chance that your logic will increase, you can decode a problem very easily. So for that you should know the basics like uh, uh, stdio used for printf and scanf, why printf is useful to print anything on the screen and scanf is useful when you want to take input from the user. But these two functions are included in stdio no? so that's why you need that file so in this way you need to interpret what you are writing the third thing is uh, you need to use pen and paper which is a most important thing for as me as a programmer it is most important thing to me because when you get a problem statement and you have to write a code for that to solve that problem Sometimes what happens is your visualization is not enough to decode that problem. So pen and paper will help you like if you are solving a problem for Q, uh, implement Q for your program, something like that. So you can draw a Q on a paper, insert values, what will happen you can check at the first position the front will be at zero, rear will be also at zero, something like that. So by using pen and paper you can you can remember them easily and depending on them, you can write your code. By using pen and paper, you can decode the problem statement very easily and you have a better understanding of the problem because you can see it actually. In visualization, what happens is you might, uh, there might be chances that you might forgot something. So that's why use pen and paper. This will also help you to increase your logic. The fourth thing is you should imagine the solution of a problem statement for example if you are reading a book then uh, you start to imagine as you read the book like uh, what is happening how this is happening all this you start imagining while reading the same is with the programming first when you get a problem statement you should at least know what data structure or what method i should use for this particular problem to solve it and after that you can go for pen and paper and also as i said the pen and paper is a important thing but sometimes if you know <coughs> a particular data structure it is not necessary huh it is necessary for the 
new purpose like uh, you get a problem that you never seen before yes go for the pen and paper or most of the time go for visualization it will help you to increase your logic because you need to think like a computer so you need to imagine there is not like a, when we say a tree structure it is like one root then left child right child but in a computer the memory is not like that the memory stores every value in a particular position it is not like ha huh, there is a root then is a left side there is a right side in computer the memory is a sequential so the fifth thing is many of you have problems like when should we use call by reference and call by value methods to call a function at least in a c so for that i suggest you if you required the modified value of the variable you are passing to a function use the call by reference because call by value in call by value what of happens is only the copy of the variable is passed not the address of the variable so anything changed in the called function will not affect in the actual function and also i suggest you to use the functions in a parenthesized format because suppose i am writing a code for linked list and i have two linked list in my program and if i don't use a parameter for a display function then i need to call i need to write two display functions one for one linked list and another one for second linked list so this complexity can be reduced by using a parenthesized function so you can call you can only pass the linked list name so it will display that particular linked list by writing a single display function lastly i can suggest you that to develop your logic to write program in any language you should go through the basics the basics are the most important thing in life also in a programming language so you should go through it read books you will find stuff on the youtube internet as well so once you are and once you understand the syntax why it is used what it will do if i write a particular line then it is easier for you to develop logic because you know if i write this the computer will work like this if i write it in a different way the computer work in different way so to build a logic you should go through basics and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy this video and i may contribute to develop your logic so if you like it this video please hit the like button also share with your friends that want to build their logic and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't so thanks for watching